I'm Joe Williams. I'm the founder and principal of Throner String in Brooklyn, New York. We are the premier lacrosse stringer in the world. Today I'm going to show you guys a few techniques on how to really establish a pocket in the upper part of the head, which is going to be great for the upcoming season and also for string league. Arguably the most important part of a pocket is the sidewall. So today we're going to focus on the top third of that, where we're going to channel it to give you a consistent release and the best ball control. So you're going to need two 30 inch sidewall strings. Make sure you run them to get any slack that is left in the string from cutting it. And you want to tip both ends with a lighter. These are already tipped, but we'll do it again for good measure. You want to make sure you have a nice tip on there. Next, we're just going to do a simple overhand knot, but on this time, we're actually going to go through the loop twice because we're stringing a Brian King and it has pretty large holes at the top. Just pull it nice and tight and you can see right there, kind of got a double overhand. It's going to give you more grip on the side of the head. Insert that sidewall string into the third hole and then we're going to wrap it around to the front and go into that first 10 diamond row from the front to the back. Pull up the knot on the outside and we're going to come over around the head in that same third hole down and then go through that same exact diamond on that first 10 diamond row. And what we have is a nice little loop around the plastic that's gonna anchor that first 10 diamond and give you a good uh, starting point for channeling the pocket down the head. So the king is also a very long head, so we're gonna actually skip a bunch of holes to really channel this stick out. First knot we're gonna do is called an SI, uh, also known as a special interlock. For that, we're going to put the string in that next 10 diamond row from the back to the front, give a little tug, and then we're gonna skip two holes and go and actually the next one after that. What you wanna do now is put the string on top of the back string and pull nice and tight. This will look just like your normal standard interlock, kind of the, the oldest kind of way to string a stick. But then what we're gonna do is take the string and go back in that second 10 diamond from the front to the back and pull as tight as we can. And what we wanna do is seat that sidewall knot inside that next or that inner 10 diamond and pull as tight as we can. And you can see it's starting to form the pocket, but not making it too dramatic so you have excess whip at the top of your stick. We're gonna repeat that same SI for the next one. So we're gonna to go to the next 10 diamond from the back to the front. We're gonna skip two holes again and go from the outside in. Place it on top of the string in the back, pull it nice and tight. And then also a little tip, if you wanna hold it with your finger here, it'll keep tension up top until you're able to put it back in that same one from the front to the back and pull nice and tight. And you can see how flat it lays it and we're starting to get that nice channel to the front. The next up, we're going to do a uh, KI, which is a, a knot interlock. And what this does is see how the SI pulls the mesh towards the inside of the head? That's gonna help you define it as, as much as it can. But then with the knot SI, it's actually gonna pull the mesh to the outside of the knot, which you'll see in a second, which will widen the channel a little bit and get rid of some of that excess drag you will see from an over channel pocket. So the first thing we're gonna do is start out the same way as the SI, go to the next 10 diamond from the back to the front. This time, I think we're going to skip only one hole and what we're gonna do is do the same thing from the outside in, but instead of going over top like we did with the SI, we're gonna come underneath. And right here, you get this nice little loop. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna go around the outside and through that hole. So you can see one from the inside in, underneath, around, and through that hole. We're gonna pull the lead string first, pulls it nice and tight, and then we're gonna pull the guide string second. And you can see you get a nice little knot on the outside there. Repeating the same process, you finish the SI, same thing with the KI. You're gonna pull it up and down. And what you really wanna do is make sure that knot sits all the way in the base of uh, that diamond. You can see how nice it pulls it. And here you see how they lay flat and towards the inside and this one actually comes to the outside of the head. It's gonna widen our channel a little bit and give us a, a nicer release. As you can see, we now have channeled the top half of the head. You can really see the diamond start to focus. And we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same exact thing. You'll really start to see that channel um, take shape. So as you can see, we've completed the other side. You can really start to see the pocket define itself. That's really what you want to do in the top half of the head is uh, define that channel, which will give you a consistent release. And what we mean by that is if you don't pull these uh, diamonds towards the top tight and they're actually stacked up at the top, you will never get this nice ball width shaped channel coming out of the head, which actually is where it gets its name. It will channel the ball out of your head and it won't be floating over here or floating over here or hit off the scoop, which make your stick throw crazy to be totally honest. You'll never know where it's going. That is a wrap with me channeling the top half of the head. As you can see, it's very important to really get a consistent and well-strung pocket. I would definitely practice these techniques and use them for your entry on February 2nd for String League Season 2. 
Now we're going to wrap up the bottom half of the head with Justin Skaggs.